Hi, I'm Peck Pompet, uh, CEO founder of Impeccable, a digital product studio. And one of the things I do is uh, design. And as a designer today, I'm going to take a look at Google Tables and, and react to it. So here we go. All right, so I've never seen this before, so uh, I'm not. I'm gonna go through and read uh, all all about it, which is probably something that I don't usually do. Usually, I'll just go right in to to the product and dive and try to figure it out. But um, you yeah, know, let's let's take a look at their landing page and see what. Uh, uh, I do know um, that it's probably you know uh, heard through the grapevine that it's an Airtable competitor, so work better together. I would have loved a maybe like a maybe an animated gif to tell me what it you know kind of show me what it does. Product by Area 120. That's like their labs. Project management, I can do IT operations, customer tracking, so there's some sort of Kanban view. So it's like a souped up Google Sheets basically. Okay, it's got bots, automation, different views, integrations, they got templates, they got forms, great. Oh, and here we go. It's free for first hundred tables, great. I imagine if you start using actions, 50 actions will be really short and you'll upgrade sooner before you run out of these other things. Try it for free. Yep. Okay. All right. Let's get started. I like that. I like the call to action at the end. Um, we'll just use this template. See what it loads with. So at our company, we use a uh, HubSpot as a CRM. So that'll be uh, interesting to compare and contrast. You've created your first workspace. I'm going to skip. I don't want to go through a tutorial. So click on the customers. So that's really where the meat of this template is. Okay. So there's a customer, size of the company, prospect, their email. Cool. So this is a rather simplified customer because really within a customer you they really, you should have two types of entities, uh, contexts and customers, but I, I get it, what they're trying to do. It's a simple example. Source, last conversion, okay. So there's there's a notion of tags, so like you could be a, this is this entertainment? Okay, so you could potentially be a entertainment startup. Oh, status pitching. So there's a group by group by stage. That's cool. So uh, let me do the Kanban board. That might be yeah. That's that's more. Yeah, I can now see it by stage, and presumably I can move things. So if I move Shake Shack along, and now we're pitching. It's pretty cool. Okay. And if I click on Shake Shack, I can update it. Take notes, hey, great meeting. Alex is allergic to peanuts. Try to make notes uh, when I talk to customers, like a little personal about them. Okay, bots, bots is interesting. What's this? Send emails, update values. So, oh, pretty cool. So. Maybe we can send an email when they move to the next stage. So let's try to do that. So maybe I want to say send something uh, when the uh, project goes from negotiating to closed. So status changes in any status. If any of the rows, the column status, 
equals closed, let's say, oh look, this doesn't scroll. Like, like it doesn't. That's weird. Nope. Oh, that's not good. <clears throat> it's new, new product. Take an action. Send an email. Email address, you know, whatever. Okay, I get it. So that's cool. That was pretty easy. You want to continue? Yes, okay. Relationships. So... There we go. So if I wanted to, I could create a new contacts uh, table and have a relationship between contacts and customers. Conversation. So, okay, every every new line is a conversation. That's cool. So it's just a way to take notes and who who was a note taker. Presentation links. Okay, very neat. And I can favorite it just like other Google Doc products. Can add a new form. Okay, let's add a new form. Uh, okay, we'll call it a new customer lead form. Uh, we'll call it contact form. The customer, from the customer's perspective, they'll want to contact us. Form description. Um, please fill out your information so we can be prepared. And we meet. This is weird. It's a new form. Oh, oh, okay, got it. This is I misunderstood. I thought I was creating a net new form. Um, this new form is based on this table. Gotcha. All right, cool. I can cancel that so that this form is related to this table. Got it. So a customer, for example, like then I can create a new form. Ah, you reach a limit. Okay, well, I'm gonna just delete this form. Boom. And uh, I'm gonna need a new customer form here. So you can say, yeah, like that. So new, Contact new con read form. Contact us. Tell us a bit about you. We can prepare for when we have our call. Customer name, you probably want to rename that. your name company size oh this is actually the company name you get it and then you just fill this out and then then they presumably I guess uh, POC. Let's change it a few more than your email, your name. Uh, your need. Please tell us what you are looking for. And do 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 tags. Um, it's like, check what this describes you. Uh, type. And then we'll say, how did you hear about us? And then uh, we'll save. 
then you can presumably go to this form and voila there's a so from a website you can just link to this form and then they can fill that out and you'll get a new lead okay that's cool i'm gonna take a look at another template so this is pretty cool Oh, I closed everything. So now my recent in my recent workspace, I see this. Cool. Oh, I like this. It tells me how many tables I have, how many rows, how many attachments. That uh, this is really nice. Gives me comfort that I'm where I am. Cool. All right, what happened to the other templates? Okay, oh, this is cool. Yeah, I like this. I don't have to start from scratch. They have quite a few templates. It also gives me an idea of how you could use this. So lots of Agile Scrum Tracker, Project Management, Applicant, Employee Onboarding. I mean, these are just tables, nothing. I'm not really seeing anything kind of breakthrough here like the, the whole field that has a lot of labels with the tags that's that's something that Airtable has um, potentially it looks like this this table has a notion of photos or something um, this is kind of neat this this is a I'm gonna explore this table use it oh this is weird I, I'm expecting to just use this template if I click this but Oh, well. All right. Uh, demonstrates the power of creating different table views and layouts, open airports of the world, click on full airport lists, switch back to the full airport list view and change layout, try the map view. So that's interesting. Okay. So, so this is the view that just shows you the full airport list. How do I search? Oh. So, um, it's JC, because that's where I usually fly out of. Okay, that's that's cool. Um, search over there, not great. FYI. Um, visited airports. That's cool. So there's a tag called visited. So then I can go full airport list. I can go SJC. I can say visit it. Now it's visit it. Search for it. Yep. Confirmed. It works. All right. So how do I change the view? Airports in the US. Okay. There's just different views in this table. Okay, I open up airport view, add Okay. Try changing the filter. Try the map layout. Switch back to then Change the layout with the layout icons to the right of the view name. Okay. Ah, this this way, this one. So maybe visited airports, and then we'll do the map layout. So this looks weird. Why is this so gray? It looks disabled. I thought this was disabled. So oh, that's cool. Okay. There's a map view. There's a grid layout. What do they call grid? This looks like a list view to me. Okay, so this is a record queue. Okay, I don't know what that means. Kanban. Yeah. Cool. Visited, not visited. Um, so if I had the full list, I'd have two. Uh, is it? Yeah, cool. And then if I do the 
map view. It's gonna look pretty cool. Lots, yeah. All right. All right, that's really killing my CPU here. All right, all right. I got it, I got it. Where was that card view? No. And then this shows the filters here, that's cool. Uh, sharing private only to me, I can share to other people. Um, copy link to workspace. Okay, that's cool. Um, I want to go back to tables, presumably. But um, I go there. Okay. Product design templates. Okay, product roadmap. That's really cool. User research database. Yeah, I could see this being useful. Uh, let's see. You can have multiple workspaces. So. I'll like create, I'll just create a blank workspace. So a workspace is a table. I mean, a worksheet and then each one is a table. Got it. All right, go back. And then to delete this, huh. How do I delete a workspace pretty easily? Delete workspace. Yep, delete all. Okay. And here I can search customer. Yep, no auto filter. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I'll definitely play more with it and uh, I can certainly find ways to use use it now um yeah i think this is great for workflow stuff especially with the bots and automation so i can see you know this being an alternative to like using a full-blown crm or or something like even people stitch together with zapier where they're tying google sheets together to zapier and that stuff like you can just do it all here i think uh very cool um Thanks for watching guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this brief tour of uh, Google Tables and my, my gut reaction to it.